Started. Welcome in Sagittarius. I'm Marie. This is Indigo Earth Tarot and I am here to do a general reading for you, our fire sign Sagittarius. Thank you for coming into the channel. It's really nice to have you here. I also want to welcome in your cross watchers. Cross watchers, you are here to find out what's going on with your Sagittarius. Therefore, some of this message could be for you as well. Energies do go both ways, so feel free to swap around the characters as you need to throughout the reading as it relates to your personal situation. And the messages coming through for you, Sagittarius, it should reflect some aspect of your current situation. It does not have to reflect the whole thing, or it could just confirm an inner knowing. As always, please take what fits. If it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. If you are new here, welcome. It's nice to have you here. If you like the content being shared, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow so other Sagittarians can get the messages that might be needed for them as well. I will have an extended at the end of this reading. The link to that is in the description box below. I'm going to dive deeper into the messages coming through for you by exploring all the zodiac signs that show up in your reading. And those zodiac signs represent personal connections as well as an intimate relationship or relationships. Remember that your significant other has one, has more than one zodiac sign um, in their birth chart. So there could be a few zodiac signs that relates to your person in the extended reading. Their moon sign, their sun sign, and their ascendant sign. So just keep that with you as we get started, and let's dive into your reading here. This is for Sagittarius sun. It's a mouthful. Sagittarius moon. Sagittarius rising. Messages for those watching, please. All right, Saggies. So overall energetic theme for the reading, you have the Ace of Swords, clarity, understanding, clear thinking. So let's see what's going on with you. What's the situation here? We have the Two of Wands, kind of at a crossroads here. We have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you might be at a crossroads here on, you know, there might be some sort of avoidance of an issue or there might trying to, you know, decide on the realism of an issue or um, maybe trying to work something through that just doesn't seem like it's the real deal. You know, you could be focused. It could be what you're focused on as well in this situation, but you're trying to gain some clear thinking, some clarity here. So we're going to get some more uh, information on that. You know, this could have something to do with your work. This could also have something to do with um, something you've been putting a lot of time and energy into. So let's see why this is happening. What is life trying to show you here? We have judgment, truth. We have the Nine of Cups, and we have the Three of Pentacles. Well, we've got truth in here again. So there's some kind of truth that you're trying to find that may be kind of hidden from you or um, may seem like it's not, it's not like right up out in your face, right? It's like you kind of have to dig for what, what might be real and what might be hidden from you. Um, you know, your happiness, you're, you're kind of putting your happiness on whatever this is that you find out. You know, this could be an event. This could be through other people. This could be you're depending on other people. This could be some sort of um, connection or collaborative effort. But we'll get some more clarity on that as well. So let's see where this is heading. What's the probabilities for you in this situation? We have the Three of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Moon. There's mystery in here. <laughs> There's a lot of mystery in here. Um, 
For some of you, this could be about a work situation. This could be about something to do with money, something to do with finances. You know, there may be other people involved in whatever. This could be a project. This could be an endeavor. This could be an event. Um, maybe some sort of retreat. But you're trying to discover some kind of clarity here. So let's dive into this because this seems to be a little bit like kind of all over the place here. So let's find out what this Seven of Swords is. What is the crossroads here? Why are you trying to figure something out? So clarify the Seven of Swords for our Saggies. We have the Four of Swords, we have the Page of Wands, and we have the King of Wands. Well, something here is definitely getting your attention, or trying to get your attention, you know? I think it kind of started out maybe a little bit... Maybe this person wasn't paying any mind to you and then all of a sudden either they caught your attention or you were trying to catch their attention. But something here is building in intensity. I'm not sure if it's you or if it's the other person. Let's find out what the Eight of Pentacles is. But something's definitely building in its intensity here. It's kind of going from a zero to hero. So clarify what the Eight of Pentacles is here. We have the Devil. Boy, there's that foggy brain. We have the Knight of Swords. And we have the King of Cups. Well, I've got two kings showing up here in this situation. I think you're trying to figure out some sort of coded messages coming through. It's, it's the messages aren't coming out in plain sight. Like, you know, there's some kind of, there seems to be some kind of like, you have to figure this out in some sort of way, decipher it. You know, it could be like, somebody's maybe trying to, flirt with you? Could be flirt with you? Or somebody may be, you know, trying to get your attention? Um, but it, it seems like, you know, either you are having some like clouded thoughts or ideas about this, or the other person has having clouded thoughts or ideas about this. This is really kind of stirring you emotionally. You're having an emotional response to this. Um, there's some kind of attachment here with this to whatever messages are coming through here. Some kind of unhealthy attachment. One of you could be drawn more by desire. One of you could be drawn more by feelings. Let's keep going because you kind of got me a little bit here. This will unfold for us here, Sagittarius. Could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. Could be a Capricorn. Could be a water sign. But judgment. We have the Two of Cups. What is the understanding you're trying to come at here? Someone trying to lure you in 
is that what it is? Someone's trying to lure you in and they're kind of like playing your emotionality or your emotional responses to this. We have the Two of Cups, we have the Eight of Cups, and we have the world. I think you're trying to find out some truth about a situation. It seems like something's trying to lure you in, or you might be trying to lure somebody else in. Play, somebody's playing on somebody's emotions here. Um, and, you know, maybe somebody who was unavailable or emotionally unavailable is now taking interest. Um, you know, there's been some sort of change. Somebody shifted their perception here or shifted their, shifted their, um, They shifted the way that they were looking at something. Someone's attention is shifting here. Someone's attention is shifting and somebody is getting... Oh, okay. Somebody's attention here is shifting to something else. Somebody's being lured. Um, there's some kind of messages coming through that don't seem to be as heartfelt. There's been somewhat of a shift maybe in energy. I think you can feel it. I think you're trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I think there's some hidden messages coming through that maybe someone's not being saying, you know, like somebody's half in and half out. But somebody's energy has definitely shifted and their attention has shifted. And I think you're trying to find out the truth here about what's going on with this connection. So what is the Nine of Cups? We have the chariot. Well, I'll just take my happiness elsewhere then, right? <laughs> yeah, we have the queen of pentacles. And we have the king of swords. Um, yeah, I'll just take my happiness elsewhere then. I'm going to do what I have to do to take care of myself. You know, maybe somebody really wasn't being too emotionally connected in here and maybe your energy shifted to somebody else maybe somebody kind of lured you over to you know not the dark side but somebody kind of lured lured you over to maybe the naughty side so to speak so let's see what the three of pentacles is could this be, you know, a connection through mutual friends? Could this be a connection through, like, a work project? Could this be a connection, you know? Something here seems to be... Seems to be luring you over. Maybe you're not luring over quite yet. Maybe there's, maybe you're in a relationship really that just kind of seems like it's not really evolving very much. Someone's not really paying you attention, the kind of attention that you really want to have. So what is this Three of Pentacles? We have the Knight of Cups. So this could be, you know, friends of friends. This could be connections in the workplace. This could be um, connections through other people. Um, I think somebody's like flirting with you or kind of like wanting to romance you a little bit. I think it's got you feeling a little bit like butterflies in the stomach here. You're not quite sure, like, mm, what's going on with this? What's really behind this? Is there anything behind it? Yeah, you're kind of like trying to figure this out, Page of Swords. You know, what's behind this? What is this person for real? Is this person not for real? Is this person just flirting with me? Um, I think there's another connection in here where... 
you might not be getting the attention that you want to get. You might not be getting the, you know, like, I think there's like sparks flying here. Somebody's kind of like flirting with you. This kind of seems to be one of those office affairs going on or something like that. But somebody's definitely giving you butterflies in your stomach here. And I've got the three of pentacles. So, you know, is this somebody from a mutual friend? Is this somebody, something that has to do with work? Um, you know, and somebody else is not giving you the same type of attention. But it also seems to be a little bit that somebody's kind of mm, drawing on your emotional responses. So let's see what's going to happen here. Let's see where this is going. What is the Three of Cups? You know, is this person in another relationship as well? That seems to be kind of like deadpan or... Um, You know, maybe you, maybe this person really didn't seem to have any feelings towards you. Eight of Pentacles and then that, or the Eight of Cups, and then all of a sudden that changed. So what is this Three of Cups? Clarify what the Three of Cups is here. This seems to be a little bit all over the map. Sagittarius but I, I feel like this is kind of like a temptation some sort of temptation is coming to your doorstep um, we have the five of cups we have the seven of Pentacles and we have the three of cups so two three of cups here Well, I mean, I, th I, I think you don't want to do anything that you're going to regret later on down the road. So I think you're kind of holding off a little bit before you respond to this. Um, but I, there might be some kind of an event coming up or something's kind of putting you two together in a, in your, in a path here, you know. And so this has really taken a look at what you value, what you value. Um, what's important to you, you know, this might have something to do with the work situation. Um, but there's some sort of temptation coming through here. That's kind of like, come this way. <laughs> come over here. So let's see what the King of Pentacles is. I think you're trying to kind of wait and see what happens kind of mode. I, there's some sort of an event coming up here. Maybe you're waiting to see what happens at this event. Kind of playing with fire here a little bit, Sagittarius. But you are a rest you are restless. You like to keep things moving. So let's see what the King of Pentacles is. We have the Moon. We have the Prince of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the King of Wands. So there's desire here. There's a lot of desire and a lot of passion. I think this is about really looking at what you value. And it's about trust. Because, you know, you have the Knight of Pentacles here. Somebody that's very trustworthy, very dependable. Somebody that moves very slow. Um, and then you have the King of Wands. It's somebody who moves very fast. Somebody who's very restless. Somebody that wants what they want when they want it. You know, you kind of got a little bit of a battle going on here between, you know, some sort of hidden agenda about what it is you value. You know, trust. You know, the Prince of Pentacles kind of rep represents that the day-to-day -day stuff, the day-to-day -day task, getting through something, you know, everyday living. 
And the King of Wands, that energy represents excitement, passion, desire, you know. Um, things are moving very fast. It's exciting. It's fun. It's adventurous. And so I think this is kind of being put in your path here, whatever this is, to not test what you value, but to really put the emphasis on what it is you truly value in life. Getting clarity, you know, clear thinking on what it is you truly value in life. Because something here is definitely picking up some sort of desire, some sort of passion. And when you got the Seven of Swords and the Devil in here, you know, that's like alluring, bringing in, you know, messages, heartfelt messages are coming through here. So let's see the moon. Which, okay, that's fine, but it doesn't look like either you're single or the other person's sing single. There's somebody else in the background here. Another connection. And now you might be comparing and contrasting between the two here. But you're definitely looking at you don't want to do something that you regret later. You know, maybe there might be a party, maybe there might be a social event. Um, you know, something's kind of putting this in your trajectory. So what is the moon? You got a lot of moons coming up here. You know, I've got two moons down here already. Something is hidden. You got three moons coming through here. Something is hidden. Something deep, 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 deep. So what is this? We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Prince of Swords. Well, again, you got the Six of Pentacles here. This is about what you value, your values, you know, what's important to you. And you have the Queen of Pentacles, you know, staying very grounded. Um, stay, you know, again, what you value. You know, what's important to you. And you got the Prince of Swords here. So this is really kind of... Maybe conveying what it is you really, really value here. Because I think you're kind of being swept up. Looks like you're being swept up. And there seems to be another player here either on your end or on the other person's end. You know, the desire is there, the passion is there, but this is really, you know, I don't see a whole lot of cups coming through except for the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is about um, celebration, having fun, partying, socializing, that type of thing. And so this is really getting you to take a look at what it is that you truly value for yourself and what it is you truly inherently value. So there needs to be some kind of clear thinking coming through here. Because it looks to me like you're getting swept up into this, you know, King of Wands energy. So let's see who's showing up here. Who am I going to look at here? I've got Cancer Pisces. I've got Aquarius. I've got Capricorn. I've got Aquarius and Capricorn again, Scorpio, Cancer Pisces, and Cancer. Yep, Cancer Pisces. Cancer's pretty loud here. Aquarius is pretty loud here. So I'm going to look at those in the extended. We're going to find out some more information about the about their intentions for you. But let's, let's grab an oracle card here. This is from the Enchanted Map Oracle deck by Colette Baron Reed. So this is for Sagittarius. Let's get some divine guidance here before we move on.
We have sad embrace. There was one more that came out here. And field of dreams. So let's see how those connect. Loss is a part of life. Let go and allow time. You may be entering into a period where loss, there might be a loss. Perhaps you're having to let go of a long-cherished dream. If so, take heart, for this ending may have been for your highest good. A better and more powerful dream will be realized in your life if you can accept the loss. Relationships based on faulty foundations are meant to end at this time. Disappointment is a form of your perception. If your expectations weren't meant, a sense of loss arises, along with sadness and grief. Express these emotions. Tears are like healing rain that can restore life to a parched inner landscape. Growth is always assured. Whatever the loss, however great it is, let go and experience your feelings so that you may soon see what beauty lies ahead. This seems to be that your expectations aren't being met. So what is the field of dreams? From the other party, not from the party who's pursuing you. Your thoughts, your feelings, and your beliefs are always engaging in the vast field of pure potential. This is a perfect time to harness the field of vast potential not yet realized in your life. Great abundance is yours if you're willing to do the work alongside the gentle gardener. Be clear about your thoughts, your feelings, and your beliefs. Concentrate on your best life regardless of the temporary outer conditions imposed upon you by the greater world, which has its own story to tell. You will reap what you have sown, dream big, dream beautiful, take action, and tend to your own garden and experience the extraordinary. So that's what I have for you this week, Saggies. I hope this helped, and until our next reading, Grand Rising Sagittarius.